guys today I'm going to show you how to color a line art using Clip Studio Paint or formerly called Manga Studio so let's begin now let's change the line art's color I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with color any color you do after you filled it move to that layer below the line art's layer after that, we are going to remove the excess colors. You can use the magic wand tool and press the delete button in your keyboard or you can just simply use the eraser tool. Now let's create a new layer and fill it with white. It will serve as our background. <laughs> now the actual coloring begins. Create a new layer and change its property into multiply. Now you can put the color that you want to. Remember to create another layer for the other set of colors that you're going to put and set its properties into multiply. For now, let's put all the base color in our line After putting all the base colors, let's put it in a folder. So select all the color layers and put it in a folder. Make sure to set the folder's property into through or else it would look like that. So let's create another folder for the rest of the layers. It's for organization. Now we should be able to add the shadow. It's either in traditional way or you can use the figure tool in Manga Studio. It is the same as the pen tool in Photoshop. So let's go to the settings and make sure to select the starting and ending. Also, make it visible. All you have to do is draw the path where you want to keep the shadow. You can change the brush size in this panel. Do not forget to change the layer's property. Choose the best property that you could see.
After adding your shadows, you can now also add the highlights. Remember to take note of where your light source is. Same as putting the shadows, you should also consider where your light source is. Now in this part, you should create a new layer. This layer should have a property of add, screen, add glow. As a matter of fact, these properties depend on your art style. Therefore, you should choose the best property that will fit on your colored line art. forgot to put something or if you forgot to color now's your chance to do it just add some little tweaks <laughs> Let's add a little effect on it. It's available in the left corner of the screen where you can find the effect tool. And as an additional tip, do not forget to put your own watermark. I will also put the name of the character that I have colored. And that's it! We just finished coloring Nashiro Shina in 8 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. It's an hour. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah.